structure and to the cabinet reshuffle. We continue. Not well, some are not happy with the president's decision to reshuffle his cabinet. Well, black first, land first. They're applauding the president for firing ministers such as Pravin Gordon and Nebisi Jonas. Now, Andile Mnitama is the president of Black First Land First. He's with us in studio. Well, one of the young voices in South Africa that people are listening to right now. Very good morning to you, sir. Thank you for being with us. Yes, good morning. Not that young, actually. Well, uh, yes. we, heard, uh, we, we heard them saying that 46 is also oh, not, okay. not right. young for the appointment <laughs> of these. Before we talk about youth and women yeah. and all these yeah. things that we yeah. heard about, I yeah. want to get your reaction overall uh, with regards to what we've seen happen overnight. Uh, our movement, Black First Land First, is uh, quite happy. Uh, we believe the events of last night, uh, this morning, was extraordinary. Mm. And there is a movement we have actually been uh, begging the president, calling on the president to fire Pravin Gordon and MTVC Jonas. Mm. We have a high court application against the former uh, minister of finance, Pravin Gordon. Uh, in that application, which is before high court, we said mm. that the court must declare him captured, declare him compromised and conflicted. We must remember that uh, Pravin was not the preferred uh, candidate for the, for, the, for the president for that position. Mm. The president was forced by white monopoly capital to basically appoint him. He has and the Praveen to the disappointment of many people who had used to respect him. Mm. He has, when he took over, acted to protect the same white monopoly capital that put him in that position, which in the papers we put before court, we show he even have shares in the companies mm. of the same white monopoly capital. The same banks which are found to have been colluding, the same companies such as Unilever, which has been stealing from the uh, poor, Pravin Godan has shares in that, and Pravin Godan has been uh, protecting them. The last big thing, of mm. course, got to do with the treasury and the reserve bank in particular, mm. with, with regard to the banking system. We do not have a state bank, we do not have a black bank, and Praveen Godan has been protecting the uh, white monopoly of, uh, of uh, the banking system. Mm. He has literally been stopping the uh, entry of uh, new black banks into the system. Yeah. He should have by now fully licensed Itala Bank, mm. the Post Bank, the VSB uh, banks. They should be uh, fully licensed as we speak so that we break the monopoly. Yeah. And of course we can talk a little bit later about how, what we think uh, the new minister uh, yeah. Gigaba should be doing. What do you make of the, the, the media uproar and, and, and the, the, the kind of case against the president who's been built even before this reshuffle happened in the last week? We saw the, 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 the intelligence memos being leaked and all these kinds of things. How do you view this stuff? Firstly, I think that President Zuma is a very brilliant politician. Uh, you have to admire him even if uh, you don't like him. Mm. Uh, he has done very interesting things because people don't realize that he moved now when the rank was at his strength. And the rank, of course, he knew they were going to attack take the rank yeah. as they did before yeah. and but it, it will not be such a, f a, a, a big fall it will recover very fast and he kept on suggesting was going to move on Praveen so yeah. we all should be uh, in more or less uh, expected this that yeah. was the first big move but the media is white owned in South Africa today there is a battle the battle between those who want radical change who want land reform who want the economy to be in black hands mm. and those who stand with white capital the opposition parties unfortunately including the economic freedom fighters are there in the interest of white monopoly capital that is why it's shocking you know thought they claim to be socialists you mm. think they will be celebrating and say uh, to President Zuma good riddance because Praveen has been such a big um, uh, capitalist in the sense of yeah. his own policies protection of white capital no they are not they speak left but they act right they are with white monopoly capital mm. that is why they want again hopefully they think that some a anc mps there is rumors that they've been bought some anc mps there are rumors that yep. they've been bought they will vote with them to protect white capital the da I think we must respect it because it is open about being a party for colonialism, yeah. a party for anti-blackness, a party for white monopoly capital. And when it calls for the motion of no confidence in the president, it is consistent with their uh, policies. Yeah. They don't want change. They want things to stay the way they are. They want colonialism. The EFF is the one that is shocking. They already <laughs> have given the DA political <laughs> power. Now they are with the DA in protecting white monopoly capital. Instead of saying, now is the time for us to force the ANC, the ruling party, and the president to give us real economic change. And the president is open at this mm. point, it seems to us. Why are we not saying we want the state bank? We want the nationalization of the reserve bank. Yeah. I, the only thing that I would like to talk to the president about is the land question. I'm not sure about the Minister of Land. 
And tell us quickly about your Hands Off Zuma campaign that you guys at the BLFF have, have, have started. We started this campaign sometime last year, and this campaign really has come from our shock when we saw the uh, Brazil, the president of Brazil, which was, mm. who was uh, democratically elected, being removed by white monopoly capital linked to London again. Yeah. And they organized to actually get rid of a president. And we in South Africa looked at exactly the same moves. Yeah. The civil society, things like Save South Africa, mm. are all organized and funded by white monopoly capital and imperialism. Johan Rupert came out, one of the biggest land, in our view, land thieves in South Africa. We mm. call him that. And he came out and said, Zuma must go. We said, wait, something is wrong here. We must defend our president. Yeah. However, we say, hands of Zuma, not with Nili, we say, you must do certain things. We want land President Zuma. And yeah. we are very happy again. President Zuma has come out. He's the first president. Our people need to realize President Zuma has got many mistakes. Mm. But on the big questions, he's coming through. He says, the first president in this country, land must be returned to black people without paying for it. Yeah. This is a critical question. Now we see in the economy as well. So we're going to push our demands on President Zuma, but mm. we're going to protect him. No one is going to remove the president uh, in means which are not uh, lawful. Now, there have been talk about mass resignations and cabinet ministers walking out and uh, led by some. How do you view <laughs> this kind of conversations and do you expect this kind of thing to happen? No, the members, the cabinet members, the privileges they have <laughs> are, are simply a deterrent to this. So it's, a, it's empty talk, it's a rhetorical talk. But his money is not going to forgo his two BMWs and his two uh, uh, cars that he gets and the BV of uh, his securities. No, it's not. But they are trying, see what is happening, there's an attempt to instigate uh, this uh, dissatisfaction with, uh, from the ground. Zolins, yeah. Mavavi uh, and them, they're trying mm. to get our people to, but I listen to some of the people saying people are unhappy. Where I go, people are not unhappy. People are actually happy. Yeah. So it depends from your perspective. Those who want change are very happy with these mm. changes. Those who don't want change are unhappy. So no, I think that there's no communist mm. is going to leave parliament uh, because there are no communists in South Africa. One quick, you've got, you've got less than a minute to tell us quickly about the hot seat that Malisi Gigaba now finds him in because it's going to be the hottest seat in South Africa for the next year for sure. My advice to him is that don't regard anything said by the rating agencies. Don't listen to white-owned media. Nation, make sure that you push for nationalization of the Reserve Bank. Make sure that you are clear about the uh, black banks. Make sure that it's a state bank. Also move, I would say, very hard to make sure that black people benefit from procurement. Mm. Our people, President, President Zuma in the Sona said, we're spending 500 billion a year and 900 billion on infrastructure. All that money goes to white business. Mualusi must be serious about set-asides. Mm. He must make sure that this money goes to in the black hands. And hopefully the, the deputy minister has got a lot of money on his hands. Yeah. He does the same too. Thank you very much for being with us. We can talk at length much more. I'm going to uh, celebrate. Hopefully in the future. Andile. Nitama is the president of Black First Land First. Obviously.